If you have been looking for a fifth wheel RV with an office space that is actually usable, you really need to take a look at this Montana. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And for those of y'all that are returning, I am at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is one of America's largest RV shows. I actually drove all the way here from Texas. And I say this because when I'm at these shows and in these show environments, I usually go through videos a little bit quicker than I normally would on something like a Montana fifth wheel here that is a um, luxury high-end fifth wheel. I really like to make somewhere between a 30 to 40 minute long video because there is just that much stuff to talk about on a fifth wheel like this. But that's not what this video is going to be because I want to get you videos of so many other cool, exciting things that are here at this show as well. So we're going to go with a little bit quicker pace. Hopefully y'all that don't like the long videos appreciate that, but I'm still going to give you all the information that I possibly can. So you'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen for this 2024 Keystone Montana 3941 FO. Now, FO is going to stand for front office, and this thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, as we go along the outside, first of all, you can see you have two awnings outside, so you're going to have a ton of awning coverage on the outside of your fifth wheel. And then on the interior layout, you kind of saw it with the floor plan layout there. This is going to be a front living fifth wheel with an office in the front cab. So really impressive how they were able to put this together. Now, there's one thing that I have to show you real quick, because this does have the new 2024 interior color for Montana. However, look at the exterior graphics and the colors on the exterior. They did change that. So this is going to be one of the last ones that has this 2023 exterior styling. And this is the 2024 exterior here. So they will start coming out looking like this. And you can see this is like more of a white color where this is like a cream color. And then they did a couple things just with the graphics where they changed the colors of the graphics on here and did basically like a white, silver, gold, and black. And so this is what the new 2024 will look like. They just have not got this model here at the show in this new 2024 exterior color package. So just want to make that clear. Um, we're going to go around the outside real quick because I do want to show you some of the really impressive things like with the storage, especially look at this. You get a pull-out sliding tray here. So this is going to be what looks like, gosh, that's probably at least eight feet. Actually, that might be a 10-foot sliding tray. I don't have the exact dimensions on this, but that looks like it's probably a 10-foot tray there. So huge sliding tray. Um, these things hold 800 pounds. So a huge um, weight carrying capacity on that. That is a really great thing that you get with this front living model, all of this exterior storage. If you're wanting to live out of a fifth wheel like this, you absolutely can. Montanas are going to be rated and tested for four or for all. <laughs> Montanas are going to be rated and tested for four season camping and absolutely have everything that you need to camp in these full time. Um, off the back, you do have an accessory hitch as well. This is not a towing hitch but it is an accessory hitch for up to 300 pounds there. And then a couple of nice things. You do have reverse lights on here as well. If you um, notice that and look at that, you'll realize there's a lot of fifth wheels out there that do not have reverse lights. So you have the reverse lights, you have side access to that storage. Kind of interesting, Lippert came out with these new um, leveling systems here. I don't know a whole lot about them yet, to be honest. I did see Lippert posted something about them on their Instagram, but um, it's interesting because it looks like it does have a like swiveling foot there and it's a pretty big platform on that foot as well. So it looks really nice. And this is going to be a hydraulic six point auto leveling system, fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly. So whenever your furnace is running, that's going to keep them from freezing. And you have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well. You have hydraulic rack and pinion style slide outs for your big slides here. And then you do have a cable driven slide in your smaller slide outs up in the front living part and in your back bedroom slide out. You have a Saloon tire here and it is a, let's see, it's a 235-80R16 tire. And you have a road armor suspension here. So that is a very premium suspension system that you're getting straight from the factory. And then when we come up this way, can see you have a dropped frame. So this is a full profile fifth wheel, have the drop framed here. That's gonna give you bigger storage compartments outside in the front. 
and then you have your sewer hose storage compartment underneath here as well. If we open up this door, you're going to have your water connections all through here. Now you can run your water lines through this hole down through the bottom so you can keep this door shut. All your water connections are here. It's very simple, easy to use, and you have an external shower connection too for hot and cold water. Really big storage space through here, or I guess it's actually not the biggest. I shouldn't say really big. Um, it's a front living model. So for a front living fifth wheel, this is a huge front storage compartment because most front living fifth wheels have very small storage compartments through the front pass-through area. So good space there. You have aluminum framing welds on both sides of the frame, and then just that extra um, bit of touch to the finish and quality. You have like no exposed subflooring there. It's all wrapped. There's a lot of other brands you'll look at. Well, you will just see exposed wood up there, but definitely going above the standard build quality on the Montana. 30 pound propane bottle in this compartment here and another 30 pound propane bottle on the other side. And then this is part of this Lipper auto leveling system. Um, again, I wish I just knew more about this thing, but it's you know, a touch screen panel here. I haven't got to play with it yet. So let's see. Yeah, so you're gonna have this kind of touch screen there to control all of your leveling. So curious to see what, you know, what benefits or maybe advancements they've made in the technology for the leveling there with this new Lippert system, but I'll probably get more information on that while I'm here at this show. As you come up front, love that you have slam latch baggage doors up here. So you can just slam those shut. You don't have to worry about using little metal clips or anything like that. This one looks like it has your inverter in here. You have your battery disconnect switch in here. It has a 30 amp solar charge controller, and then your batteries will go in here as well. Also have your hydraulic fluid access in there. And then down underneath here, this is all just your storage space that you'll be able to access through there. You're gonna have a road armor pin box up front. So this is gonna have a rubber bushing in it that's gonna absorb a lot of the shock as you go up and down the road. And then last thing before we go inside, I wanna show you as well, because Montana does have full body paint options, we're gonna walk down this way real quick. And actually y'all are gonna run with me. At these shows, I just don't have time to waste. So this is one of the full body paint options that they have here. This is their cobalt color scheme. This is probably their most popular color scheme as well with this black, gray, blue, and white option. So you can get full body paint options on the Montana fifth wheel if you would like as well. They also have a legacy package option, which I'll have to get some confirmation on what the 2024 legacy package will offer. Um, but in the past, it's been things like disc brakes, side and backup cameras, touchscreen control panel that links to your phone, um, uh, electric power cord reel, and gosh, there's like one or two other things. It's been a minute since I've looked over the legacy package for Montana. Um, but they do have that legacy package, which basically elevates it up into an even higher class of fifth wheel. So hopefully I'll remember to put all of the legacy package options on the screen here. Now that is everything on the outside. I'm just gonna show you real quick, like your storage through on this side, what that looks like. Cause you do have TV hookups. So you could mount a TV right here that like slides out on a um, rack right there. And that is pretty much everything on the outside. Now I'm really excited to go take a look at the inside with y'all. So let's go take a look. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about. And I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. So again, this is the Montana 3941 FO. This is brand new. It came out in 2023, but not many dealers got had it in stock in 2023. And we're actually gonna go to the left first because look at this kitchen. Look at this kitchen, y'all. This thing is so impressive. This has the most floor space I have ever seen in a kitchen because they got rid of the island and decided to give you something a little bit more unique. And Montana's really good at kind of making these advancements that we haven't seen in the RV industry really. So instead of an island, you have two pull-out countertops on each side. So 
So we've seen this in the Montana 3231CK as well. And look at that. This here is such an impressive kitchen. It's very different. It's not like any other kitchen I've seen, especially in a front living fifth wheel. But hopefully I'm able to give you kind of a good look of what that looks like. You're gonna have your dinette table right across from here. And then I should also mention, Montana definitely made some changes to their interior colors. I can tell their flooring color in here is different. So they changed that just a little bit. And then you have things like a new slide out fascia color. So this is a very, you know, like get right up on it so you can see, it's kind of like a deep brown kind of color. Yeah, that same thing with your crown molding up top, LED lighting in the crown molding all the way down the ceiling line as well. You also get things like a custom roof panel in here. So it's not just your generic white panel. And that's another thing that makes the Montana really pop as well. Um, as I'm looking up here, I do want to note this only has two ACs on it. You can get a third AC here. Me being in Texas, pretty much every time you find one on a lot in a warm climate state, they're going to order it with three ACs on it. But some of your cooler climate states will order them with two ACs on it. Last thing on the ceiling as well, Montana's the only brand I've seen that does things like black vent fan um, trim pieces black AC ducting and things like that that really make it pop as well and definitely looks different than everything else out there that will use white for those components. But two max air vent fans with this model here in the kitchen, a black ceiling fan, and then that's everything up on the roof. Actually, one more thing. You have this spot right here as well that looks really nice with the LED lighting and your puck lights in there too. So let's go through this kitchen real quick because I do want to get to the front office space and show you that. But in this kitchen, they have the Furion stove and oven. Now this is 24 inches wide. So this is a huge, huge Furion oven that they have here and a huge Furion stove. Going to give you the largest cooking space that you're going to find in a fifth wheel RV. There is also the Insignia four burner stove and oven, but this three burner stove from Furion is wider than that one. So gives you a big space here. I really like the way that it looks as well has a very like modern industrial kind of feel on that. So fan of that and I like that oven. New backsplash as well for 2024. I'll turn on some of these lights here, um, but you can see that backsplash there and it's actually framed out, which gives it a little bit more of a clean look as well. Now, when you have a 400 watt solar package and up on a Montana, because Montana does come with four different solar options, all the way up to 1,320 watts of solar actually, Anything over 400 watts with your inverter is going to give you power to these outlets with yellow stickers on it where those will run off of your battery power as long as your inverter is on. Turn on this light here and let's go through the storage real quick. Um, one thing you should know about Montana, this is all solid hardwood cabinetry. So everything is all solid hardwood. Got your storage up here above the oven and you're going to have soft closed cabinets. Definitely need that. Storage over here is going to match as well to the other side. And let's see, you got three drawers that pull out here. Tire pressure monitoring system as well. They even do a tire pressure monitoring system on the spare tire. That is something not all brands do. And your drawers are also soft closed. So they just kind of have that soft close feature there as well. So three drawers on that side, underneath the oven, you have some storage there and storage space through here. Outlets on both sides of your oven and stove. And then through here, this is gonna be your pantry space. They changed up the design a little bit as well on the cabinets. Um, I'm not sure, Montana's always had three different interior color options. They've had bourbon, cottage white, and um, like a cobblestone. And so far, everything I've seen here has all had the same interior color scheme. So I don't know if this is gonna be like their cottage white scheme or if this is just gonna be the bourbon scheme and kind of like their standard scheme that they go with. So that'll be interesting to see as well what different color options they have. Um, but this here is going to be your pantry. So lots of space there, as you can see. Love the soft clothes cabinets. Makes it very easy to just let those clothes on their own. Up above your refrigerator, you can have storage space up through there as well. And then you have your GE residential refrigerator. Open this up. And the thing I like about this refrigerator is you actually do have a water dispenser here inside of the refrigerator. So you do get that. It's not on the door on the outside, but you do have that inside the door. Open this up real quick and you do have a freezer with an ice maker. So you do get an ice maker as well. And then to my right, you have a nice big single basin sink here, black and kind of stainless steel faucet with that. And then it does have this rack in there so you can let things sit in here and they can dry in the sink. Same backsplash material there as well. 
outlet to the right here and then storage underneath the sink. Does also have covers underneath here so you get both the solid surface covers and this drying rack cover for the sink. Should also mention you have solid surface countertops and they started doing like a rounded kind of bezel like edge here on the side that looks really good as well through all of your countertops. Three more drawers that pull out here and then that's going to be all your storage in the kitchen. Again, dining table to your right, have your windows to look outside. And then with your windows, you have balances that go down the window. So when you use the pull down blackout shade, it doesn't allow excess bleed to come in. So you're getting, you know, pretty much all of the light blocked out. And they do still have the day shades on them as well. So you get both day and night shades. Nice looking balances on the windows as well. Has a really clean look. Have your lighting up here with an LED light in that trim as well. And then this table, it does have a leaf on it. So should just lift it up like that. You'll be able to store like really small things underneath here if you want as well. But you have that leaf that will extend out and then a much more premium chair than you'll find in a lot of other fifth wheels where these two are gonna be just set in place. And then you will have this bar right here that will hold them in place while you're going down the road. And then you'll have two more that will be pretty much just as nice, but they're gonna be folding chairs that will fold up so you can store them out of the way. Now we're gonna get up into the front living portion. And when we go up this way, wanna point out a couple things real quick. You have grab handle here and grab handle here. Controls here for the fifth wheel. So you have all manual switches in here, which I know a lot of people prefer having the manual switches. So you will have that. And then you have a central vac system that also has the floor sweep added to it. So when you flip this up, that is going to suck all of your dust and debris and everything into that central vac system as well. So you can get rid of your dust pan. That's a really nice feature there. So you'll have steps that go up into the front living portion. And in this area, this looks to be about a 50 inch screen TV here. So 50 to 55 inch screen TV on that. You'll have a JBL sound system here as well. So really nice sound system that you get. And this area here, ceiling height is about six foot five or so, maybe six foot six. You have your theater seating directly across from the TV and this theater seating is going to have um, what these all, what these controls here are is basically allowing you to obviously recline and um, de-recline. What's the opposite of recline? I can't think of the word, um, but you can recline with the power seats and then it is going to have independent control of your lower backrest and your headrest as well. So you can kind of tilt those back and forth. So a lot of versatility that you can get with these chairs for the kind of comfort that you're looking for. So these are gonna recline all the way back as well. And then you're gonna have your sofa here, two cushion sofa and two cushion sofa here. Both of these are going to make into beds. So these are trifold sofas. They will come out into the middle of the floor here and make into a bed if you need additional sleeping. They didn't turn the lights on in here yet. So let me get all these lights on real quick. I hate when all the lights aren't on. Give the full picture here. Um, you got your fireplace there, nice kind of paneled accents here on the wall with how they designed that. And that looks good. And then you do have a subwoofer as well. You see this gain knob here. This is for independent control of your subwoofer. So that there, the subwoofer is back behind here. And you're going to be able to control the gain of just your subwoofer there or the volume of your subwoofer there with that control knob. So that is everything in your living room space and what that looks like. And then, of course, up in front of this area, you have this incredible office space. Look at this. This is the best office I have seen in a fifth wheel RV. I mean, the fact that you have this big windshield here, of course, we're parked right in front of another fit or right behind another fifth wheel. But imagine you're out in a campsite, you're out in nature, whatever it may be, wherever you are taking your RV to, and you can see out your window there while you're working, you will have a pull down blackout shade as well. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it too much because it's kind of tucked up in there and it's gonna probably take two hands to get it out. But you do have a pull down blackout shade that will black this out as well if it's just like too hot or something in this area. But of course you have AC ducting coming up to here as well. And it's an L-shaped desk, lots of room underneath the desk. So if you need to put like a computer setup or anything like that on the floor, you have room to do so. This is going to be a folding chair. So this chair will fold up. This is showing you now what that looks like with the folding chairs and so much countertop space here. I mean, you could easily fit like a, you know, I don't know the exact dimensions of computer monitors, but you could probably fit a 32 inch screen computer monitor here. Or if you had like a, 
a dual monitor setup. You could put one here, one here. So much flexibility with what you're able to do. And then you have like a hole right here so you can run your power lines through the desk there underneath and lots of outlets. Outlets and USB ports there, outlets here as well, and outlet here as well. So good amount of space. They also give you this kind of felt style board here. So can use thumbtacks and stuff to put on this board, put some pictures up or your notes or whatever it may be. Four pull out drawers on this side, soft clothes on all those as well. And shelving down underneath here, a little bit of storage under there too. Little cubby and storage space through here. So again, of all the fifth wheels I have seen, this is by far the best office space I have seen and there is not another fifth wheel brand out there doing a front office like this yet. That may change in the future, but for everything I've seen for 2024 so far, Montana is the only one that has something like this and this is incredibly impressive. So I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this office space and if you would use a space like this or if you just think it's cool or if you think it's a complete waste of space, let me know down below in the comments. You do have this farm style sliding door here for privacy as well. So this area will get pretty dang quiet when you close that door and can give you a good amount of privacy. And then as we go forward, or I guess backwards, we're going to the back, <laughs> you're gonna have your bathroom here in the middle actually. So it's a one bath fifth wheel and it's gonna be in the middle so everyone can get to it without having to go into the bedroom and look at this. Montana finally did it. They finally went to this full body shower head here and they finally got the one piece molded fiberglass shower that goes up to the roof line and they added the flip up seat. They were a couple years behind on this, but I'm so glad to finally see it in the Montana. I like this setup a whole lot more than the molded fiberglass shower they were using before with the seat that was molded in. Um, I think it's nice to be able to have the option to flip the seat up. So if you just want more floor space, you can get that. And it looks really good. I really like this texture they do in this fiberglass as well. I know some people have different opinions about it, but I do like that. And it does go all the way up to the ceiling there. And finally, we have this shower head in the Montana that gives you four different spots where water can come out of and the wand there. So really think that is nice. Another thing that's really unique about Montana is you actually have a speaker in the bathroom. So you're gonna be able to do your shower karaoke in here, have a good time in the shower with your speaker in here and can play music through that speaker. You can have storage through here as well and a designated spot for your trash can underneath there. Porcelain foot flush toilet there, plenty of room on both sides for your shoulders so you can sit comfortably. And then they went away from the bowl sinks in the Montana. I know a lot of people didn't like those, even though I did like them. And they went to this deep stainless steel sink there. So a lot of depth in there actually can basically stick my whole, you know, hand down into my forearm into that sink. So a lot of depth in that. Medicine cabinet storage here, max air vent fan in here as well. So they did not cheap out on any of the vent fans in this Montana. And storage space down underneath here. So you're gonna have your three drawers, again, all soft clothes, and you do have a designated spot for your toilet paper as well. So that is your bathroom, and you have a sliding farm style door here as well for the bathroom. And then as we go back to the bedroom, you're going to have a king size bed. And something I really love about Montana as well is they have the best reading lights for the people in the bedroom that I've ever seen. I still can't recall another fifth wheel I've seen with these where you have two different light settings. You have this halo light that kind of illuminates over the top that's gonna be a soft light at night. And then you also have the directional reading light there. So good versatility with that. New style headboard and colors for 2024 as well. And I really think this just looks so sharp. Again, y'all let me know in the comments what you think about the color scheme and whatnot, but this Montana is one of my favorite looking fifth wheels that I have seen so far with just the color scheme and the way that it feels when I step inside. So let me know what you think and hopefully y'all appreciate it as much as I do, the changes that they made for the colors and whatnot because I really think it looks so good. You're gonna have shelves up here up above the window with USB ports and outlets there. That's gonna be another inverted outlet and those are standard USB ports up there as well. This is a, feels like a pretty nice mattress as well. Yeah, this is definitely a more premium mattress. It is a, ooh, they have a soft and a firm side. Okay, interesting. That's 
different as well. I don't think they were doing that before. I don't remember seeing that on Montana. So a soft and a firm side to your mattress. So that's pretty unique. You have your AC in the bedroom as well. And look at that, you have four AC vents here in the bedroom. So definitely gonna have no problem getting this bedroom cool. Nice pillows that it comes with as well. Looks really nice. And then as you turn around, you're going to have your TV up here. This is a smart TV. So you get things like your Netflix and YouTube. You can watch these videos inside of your RV. And I think that's it. I was trying to think if there was something else I need to mention. It's a 32 inch screen TV. I don't think there's anything behind it, but oh, the thing that I do need to mention though, is it's actually framed out. So Montana, I mean, they just put so much attention to detail with the woodwork and whatnot, where they frame this piece out and pretty much any other fifth wheel you'll look at in the same price range is just going to have the TV on the wall and it doesn't look as clean and finished out like the Montana does. So really appreciate that too. Six pull out drawers here. These are all the same size. And then of course you got to have washer dryer prep. So open this up and you'll have storage through here. If you want the washer and the dryer, it will go in this space there. You are also going to have storage underneath the bed. So lift this up. You have your chairs underneath there and your storage space underneath here as well. And I, want to mention because if you're comparing this to other models like there's some little things that other models do like alliance and solitude and whatnot where they have a little bit more thought maybe put into the storage underneath the bed with drawers and stuff that pull out so that's something i would like to see from montana is maybe just a little bit more um thought put into the storage underneath the bed but then there's those other things where like nobody else does a framed out tv space like this or you know most brands don't so there's always this little compare and contrast between these different models so we're like they have one thing and then another one doesn't and then it's i don't know it's uh, always interesting just to see how you know there's these little pieces between each brand that they do different but i will say that i really really like this montana so far and it is one of my favorites that i have seen so far here at this rv show then as we open up this closet, have your motion activated light in here. So that's nice. You can just actually leave that on and it'll turn on when you open the door. And then you're going to have your clothing rod there. Well thought out as well with your hamper there that you have and you have shelves down underneath here. It's a little tight around the bed. So not a like great amount of walking space to go around the bed, but this is about a 44 foot fifth wheel, maybe 43 feet and they have used every bit of space to give you that office and a front living room. So it does get a little condensed here in the bedroom. But that is everything on this Montana fifth wheel. Unfortunately, there is no pricing displayed here at this show. So I do not know a price for you. I can say Montana's like this. I think they're usually going somewhere around like 120,000, but every dealership and location is different. So that's just an estimate. I can't really say for sure. Um, MSRP on these though, I think it's somewhere around like 150, maybe even up to 160, depending on how they're ordered, because there are a lot of options from Montana. But I'm curious what you think. So let me know down below in the comments what you think about this fifth wheel. And I'm very curious your thoughts. And then if you haven't already, go down in the description below. And I have another YouTube channel that I haven't posted any videos to yet, but I'm really excited for what's to come there because there are videos coming. It's my Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. Firmly Unbound is my company and I'm gonna be doing some different stuff there that's still kind of in the same field you know still going to be rv related and whatnot but it's going to be different and i'm really excited about it so go subscribe to that channel because there's going to be some fun stuff coming so go check that out that's all i got for y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments and until next time live firmly on bound